Woohoo! What's up everyone? Eugene Rai here and let's make some emotes. Now the best thing about becoming a Twitch affiliate besides to be able to finally monetize your content with subscription and bits is the fact that you can create your own emotes. And it's amazing because as soon as viewer unlocks one of your emotes, he can use it anywhere or any channel. And knowing that somewhere out there on Twitch and there is million of viewers and millions of creators, there is your emote rotating is really fulfilling. A lot of people, as soon as they get ability to upload some emotes, they either upload some funny pictures that they know or they go to Fiverr, pay someone to do that for them and that's it. But actually creating an emote is very, very easy and I'm gonna show you how to do that for free without spending any dollar. What's most important, you're gonna be, you can do emote with yourself. You waving, you raging, you name it. And you have no idea how these emotes have an impact. If it's you doing something, it's much more attractive than any pictures that anyone can find on the internet or a picture that people may be seen a lot of times. My first email, for example, that I have created was me raging and people are using it now constantly every time when something happens because, let's face it, when you game, you rage a lot. Now, you can use different software. Now, there is a GIMP, which is official photo editor software that you can download. It has a lot of functions and you don't have to be a pro to use it. It's very, very easy. Other photo editors are sometimes even online that you don't need to download anything. You go to the website, you create your emote, and that's it. It's really that simple. So, let's take a look how you can do an emote. I'm gonna do one of myself. Okay, here we are, so let's take a look. On a desktop, as you can see, I already have a picture that I took of myself waving or saying hi to the viewers. Now let's make it as an emote. Go to pixelart.com. I'll leave a link to this website down below, as well as other free photo editor software. Now we go to open image. We're gonna add the image that we took. As you can see, I did it without green screen. Of course, if you have a green screen, it's much easier to edit emotes. I do have one. I created like 10 emotes with a green screen, much, much easier. Also, with Photoshop, the selective tool there is just amazing. I mean, you just point through your, over your body and it immediately cuts out you, your hand, everything and just removes the background. But that is why Photoshop is a paid software. Of course, if you have money, instead of spending it on Fiverr, go and buy Photoshop. You will do an amazing things with it and you don't have to be a pro or anything. You can easily learn through internet and it's just very easy to use at all. Now, if you don't, of course, and you don't want to spend that much money into your streaming setup or into these kind of graphical things, that's okay. So, in these kind of free softwares, the selective tool is not that good. So, if you're not going to be using the magic one, because then it's just shifting colors and it's really creating like a crazy blurs. And instead, we're going to go with a different one. You click on the scissor, you go to cutout. Here, as I said, you have the magic cutout, but instead we're gonna do a draw cutout. Now, you have a different sizes. If you increase the size, then it's gonna be big like this. Now, you can choose either if you want to keep this or if you want to remove it. This depends on how you want to draw yourself. <laughs> this depends on how you want to work with the picture. Of course, if you're gonna do keep, then with this green light you have to outline yourself then it's gonna keep you but of course if you're gonna do remove everything that you're gonna do around is gonna be immediately deleted now i'm gonna do a remove because for some reason i feel much better working with this kind of stuff i'm gonna do the basic size which is 62 pixels i'm gonna close down this and you just go you press and you hold the button and you're drawing now i'm gonna be doing this quickly so the video is not for one hour but of course you you take time it's gonna look amazing oh damn took a little bit of my ear never mind 
thing is that I'm also on the streaming PC, I'm using wireless ordinary mouse, <laughs> which the feel of course is totally different than the pro mouse I have on my gaming PC, so it's not going that smooth. That's it. As you can see, I basically deleted everything around me. Okay, now we're gonna increase the size and basically delete everything that is happening around. keep it like this as I said I'm doing it very fast for the purpose of this video plus I'm not like paying attention otherwise I would spend much more time on it but just uh, let's say one minute and basically all picture is cut out now important thing uh, uploading emotes to Twitch they need to be in the square parameters not the rectangular ones so you cannot do like this kind of picture in full HD instead it needs to be square so you press crop you grab it and you just put it away so it's like similar you can easily choose select aspect one to one and then it automatically shifts you so the width and height are in the same levels it's gonna make a perfect square which then you can easily drag over yourself <laughs> like this and save it now I believe the maximum resolution for uh, Twitch emote is 50 pixels to 50 pixels most importantly use PNG format that is the only one that allows you to keep the transparency if you do J JPEG or if you do uh, PXD which I don't even know it's probably gonna put a white background behind you yeah see I chose JPEG and immediately white so now don't do that you don't want your emote having a white background because if someone has a twitch set to dark mode their old chat has a this kind of color background grayish one and if your emote has a white outlines or white background it just looks very very bad now you download it and look basically have an emote where I am waving to my new viewers and let's face it if a viewer comes to your channel instead of just posting some pictures or gifs that are that are not connected to you at all you much rather use an emote where you're just weirdly smiling or waving or when you are raging or where you're surprised I mean the most popular emote on twitch is a bug face and it's not a picture of anything or it's not even cartoon it's just a real guy his face is doing this hog emote so if you gonna use yourself and make emotes like that I think your viewers will be very much so this is it now if you want to see how to make an emote with GIMP let me know in the comment down below and I'll be happy to do a video about that so as you can see it's insanely easy to create an emote I did just one right now uh, I was doing it fast to show you guys but if you take time with it you can create really something awesome now you can use a lot of different free softwares like for example GIMP which you can download it has a lot of options and a lot of things that you can do it's almost like a free Photoshop or you can use this one online I'm gonna leave links to these kind of softwares down in the description below you can click download it and start right away now guys if you have any question or you want to talk more about it or you have any ideas that you want to run through feel free to join my twitch channel i stream there every monday wednesday and friday i game with viewers talk with viewers a lot you can discuss your streaming career right there i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one or on twitch and bye One down. Oh crap, I have no ammo.
close. Oh my god, dude. Thank god they were stupid. 